it's been slowly grinding higher. Um, you had a low here in June, another low right here, and then it's it's bounced again. And again, every single bounce has been off the regression demand. I mean, we'll see in 2024 if we finally visit it or if it just continues to, to um, you know, just stay just above it or not. But that is that was something that I, I think it's pretty safe to say I've been wrong about. And I think if you've watched this channel uh, in 2023, you'd be like, yep, <laughs> he was wrong about that. Um, you know, Ether Bitcoin went down, Bitcoin dominance went up, but Ether USD went up. Obviously, I mean, Ether USD went up because Bitcoin went up, right? I mean, like if, you know, if you think about it, Bitcoin dominance went up all year, Ether Bitcoin went down all year. But if Bitcoin did spend half the year going down like that other theory had, had panned out, then I imagine Ether USD would be lower. But Bitcoin has a way of, of lifting everything up, right? If Bitcoin continues to go up, then it, it can lift Ethereum higher, uh, even if Ethereum is not keeping pace with, even, even though Ethereum did not keep pace with Bitcoin this year, um, it, it did go up in terms of its USD valuation. So that I think is something that's fair to say uh, that I was, I was wrong about. And I will see, and we'll see together in 2024 if it finally drops into the regression band or if it continues to, to basically say, nope, uh, just kidding. Uh, for, for another year.